You know what I want to do now? I want to take the EOS R out and uh, vlog with that and then I'm going to take the Lumix out and vlog with that and I'm going to see which one produces a better vlog. Oh, and I have the Video Road Micro. I guess this is also part of the vlogging gear because uh, you want good quality audio. And this isn't the best microphone that these guys make, but uh, it's small, it's affordable, it's cheap. I'm going to start with this and then once I get used to things and understand the audio game a little better, because I'm new to video, I will upgrade to something better. I don't know which one, but that's why you start with this and then you upgrade as you go. So let's open this guy up. See what's in this box. Okay guys, so this is the uh, G9 with the 25 millimeter lens. And I can see right now, okay, is it tracking my face? It's got a square over my eye, so I assume it's tracking my face. The background is nice and blurry. I am shooting at where does it say on the screen? I believe it's at 1.7, so it should be a nice shallow depth of field. So let's get to this unboxing thing, and hopefully the audio quality is good. I haven't tested this camera out yet. This is the first time I'm making a recording, so and hopefully there's better audio once we get this open. Okay, so there we go. Well, this 50 millimeters is just a little too close. Let's throw on the 7 to 24. My apologies, 7 to 14, and now we're at 7 millimeter. Holy wow! Holy wide! And then this is 14, which is 14 looks like, yeah, it looks like the G7X. There's a space for another face right here next to me, and then me, so. Okay, this is good. I like this. And of course, this thing has these jingly metal strap connectors, which suck. And I'm going to have to deal with that. Okay, so here we go. This is the Video Road Micro. I guess that's the base where the microphone attaches. That's the dead cat. And that's the mic in there. Okay, I'm not going to force it out. I don't want to break it. I guess that's the connector. So let's get this hooked up and test it out. Let's see what it, uh, it sounds like on this G9. Okay, so check this out. This is the EOS R right here. And uh, when you plug the mic into the EOS R, it plugs in right here. And it plugs in basically right in front of the screen. So if you're vlogging and you're looking at your screen, there you go. A quarter of your screen is cut off by the microphone plug. Now that to me is kind of silly. Canon is touting this as a vlogging camera or a vlogger's dream. Vloggers are going to love this, but your screen is cut off because of the mic input, and that just doesn't make sense. And you got to give kudos to the guys or girls, engineers, whoever, uh, who created the G7 or G9, because the mic input, let's see if I can get this open, and you can see here on the G9, the mic input is up here in the corner, so when you're vlogging and looking back at the screen, you don't have a mic cord in your way. Like, sorry, that's a fail for Canon. Not so good. This, this is great. The only thing I don't like is the screen doesn't actually face you. It, it kind of uh, it sticks out this way slightly. It's not parallel with the, uh, I guess, the sensor plane or whatever you want to call it. When the camera's facing right at you, that screen's kind of pointing off to the side a little bit. But, uh, yeah, that's great. Look at that. You don't have anything in the way. And apparently the headphone jack is also up here above the screen. So it's not going to get in the way either. So kudos to Panasonic for thinking ahead on that one. Okay, so this is the microphone on the Lumix G9 with no uh, Rode mic plugged in. This is just the mic right off the camera, blah, 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 blah. And here is the mic plugged into the Lumix G9, blah, 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 blah. So hopefully there's a discernible difference there and I didn't waste my money on this, uh, this low-cost microphone option here. And uh, yeah, so that's that. Now let's try it on the EOS R and see what that sounds like. Okay, so here is the EOS R. This is the sound recorded from the microphone on the EOS R without any external mic. Blah, 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 blah. And here is the EOS R with the mic plugged in. This is the uh, video micro and blah, 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 blah. And it is great because the cord from the microphone is conveniently blocking the LCD panel so I can't see the full screen. So thank you, Canon. That's great. 
Uh, so this is what it sounds like here, blah, 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 blah. So hopefully there's a difference. And in terms of the image quality from both cameras, in terms of the color and white balance, I didn't set the white balance on the Lumix, so it is what it is. I'll do a proper comparison with both cameras set to the proper or equal white balances and all that stuff. But for now, this is just a microphone test. Let's see what it sounds like. All right, Canadian winter and we're on the roof here. I want to see what these two cameras can do because I'm comparing them as vlogging cameras. Uh, I'm using the EOS R right now and uh, I can actually feel the weight of the camera. I don't know how long I could vlog with this for and I'm switching hands. I've got the, uh, the microphone on top. So blah, 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 blah. There's the light behind me and we're set to 24 millimeter right now. And how shaky is it? How usable is it as vlog footage? On the little screen, it does look good. Hopefully it's picking up the sound and uh, everything's working and this is the USR now let's switch over to the G9 with the 7 to 14 millimeter lens and here we go now we have the Lumix G9 with the Rode Micro attached on top and we're walking the same path we did with the USR and uh, I set the lens to about the same 24 millimeter focal length although this one can go to 7 millimeter which is 14 and that's pretty wide as you can see right there and then all the way to 14 which is 28 and then 12 which is 24, which should be equivalent to the EOS R. Uh, how do these look for vlogging? You know, there's a lot of shadow on my face, so I'm curious to see how the both how both cameras handle the shadow and how that looks. And blah 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 blah. Now switching the vlog with the right hand. This camera is definitely a lot lighter. And how does it perform? I don't know. I guess I'll find out when I look at the video. Okay, so this is it. Quick little vlogging session with both cameras. And now back to the studio. Okay, so initial impressions right out of the box. Uh, for me, that battery grip is just, it makes it too heavy. And if it's heavy, I don't want to use it. Like right now, I'm filming with the G7X Mark II. I have the, the EOS R right there. But I don't want to film with it because it's just too heavy to hold up. And it's a pain to set up and move around. So the lighter the camera, the more likely you are to use it. At least in my case. And that's one thing I really love about this is it, it's light. It really... <laughs> it is super light. That's awesome. The lenses are so tiny, like 7 to 14 millimeter. Look how tiny that is. It's like a tennis ball. That 50 millimeter is even smaller. Look at that. That is, that's tiny. So, so far liking that, I, I, uh, I went through the menu. I played around with a couple settings. I have a lot to learn, but I do like the way the menu is set up. In fact, I like the way the menu is set up here a lot better than it is on Canon. I like that. I like the, uh, the LCD display on top. I find that very handy. Uh, for B-roll camera, I'm really happy so far. I haven't tested it out yet. I haven't even seen the footage that I just shot with it. So I'll see that once I make the YouTube video. And uh, hopefully there's the audio quality with this, uh, where did it go? With that that micro mic, Rode micro, whatever it's called, Rode video micro mic is good. Um, but yeah, overall impressions, really liking this. I think it's, uh, it's a good investment for B-roll camera. But if, uh, if those videos that I've seen that show the quality of the footage that comes out of this guy are accurate, then this might be the, the A camera and the EOS R might be the B camera because the 4K that comes out of the EOS R looks a little, a little soft, let's say. Let's say a little soft. So I'm gonna compare the two cameras in another vlog. For now, uh, this vlog is over. I'm gonna go play around with these guys and learn how to use them and then I will make a comparison video for you guys who are interested in the EOS R versus the Lumix G9. All right, peace out, thanks for watching. I will see you guys in the next one. And one more thing, let me get out of the light there. Uh, if you're into photography, if you're into behind the scenes, models, vlogs, all that kind of fun stuff, check out VX2 TV, it's the new channel I'm working on. I really appreciate anybody who goes over there and subscribes, it means a lot to me. I'm trying to build that up as fast as I can. And uh, yeah, so go check that out. And yeah, now peace out. I will see you guys in the next one. Cheers.